With social distancing going on, I figured I would walk you guys through one of my big head cartoon projects I'm working on. Um, this is for a musical act in South Florida. Uh, we are adding this guy's character, his name is Zach. Uh, we're going to be doing a big head cartoon. He wants his guitar, he wants his signature look, his beard, his mohawk. These are the things that are really going to be accentuated. So, of course, I work on the face first. I get the drawing set and then through Photoshop I start to color. Um, there's a great tool that I'm using right now that's called uh, the burn tool which gives you some shading and uh, and then also uh, I throw some detail in there as you can see I draw over to just add additional lines. Now I always keep everything referenced right on the same screen so I can keep going. I have my list of what he wants. He wants a black hoodie black short sleeves, um, you know, his guitar is important, being a musician myself, I know that's true. So I just do like a rough sketch of where I'm going to end up putting the guitar. Um, his camo pants are really important, his hoodie, um, this is his look, so we're going to have this be on all of their marketing materials uh, for their concert, the series that they do in South Florida. Um, so my tradition, of course, is big heads and little tiny bodies, so this is what we're doing. And again, I'm using Photoshop uh, on just a regular old PC. Um, it's a gaming computer, so I have a lot of processing. Uh, processor, I mean. Um, it's all using layers, so like I finish his body, I draw his hoodie, everything it would need to be. Um, I use it kind of as a sketch tool, really, at the same time, and then I go over my work when I like it. Um, it takes me longer than maybe I'd like it to sometimes, because I'm kind of OCD about it. But um, So right now I've... I've muted his head, as you can see, so I could finish his body. And then because of layers, I just erase what I don't want to show up. Um, and like I said, I'm self-taught, so this is, I'm sure there's easier ways, but this is just how I choose to do it. Um, so as you can see on the bottom right-hand side, there's a lot of different layers that I use. And uh, right now I'm just kind of marrying those two layers together. So when I give my client a product like this they get one round of changes so the face won't change but if maybe they don't like where the body ended up I can change that so now we do a little metal sign action and I always use the eyedropper tool oh, that was a mistake to make sure that the skin tones are all the same um, now camo pants this is my own little creation here I just kind of use different colors I usually use three colors a dark a medium and a light and I just layer them in there until it looks good to me, which sometimes is never. <laughs> but we're getting there. And now I go over with the lightest color. Um, and I just keep referencing the picture and try to get as close as I can to it. I tell kids all the time when I teach classes that there's really no right or wrong. It's just when you think it's good, which is kind of the problem with art and music. It takes a lot of courage to say, okay, I'm done. I'm done. This is what it's going to be. So we're getting pretty close here with the camo pants. I'm happy with the colors. I just add in little little accents where I think they need to be. I take a step back and look. Um, now it's time for the guitar, which is, we got the metal sign. That's one of the pictures he sent to reference me. I use my burn and shade tool one more time to just bring some dimension to the body. Um, you know, a little shadow over the top of the camo pants really helps. Now we take an image of the guitar. I just find this on Google, literally. I use the copy-paste tool. I throw a guitar in there that looks similar to what he has, and then I just go in and edit it myself to make it match the guitar, especially with musicians. I don't mess around. They, they want what they want. You know, we know what we play, and um, it's important. So I use a, a free photo, and I draw my the hand over the top of the guitar, and we are looking pretty good. This is pretty much going to be... The first draft of Zach and Joe Bachman's extended weekend happy hour that will be going on again once we are out of social distancing and we've passed this crazy time. But this is what we have going on.